We are right at the hottest part of the year, and it's so common for us as EMS and ER providers to see patients with heat exhaustion. So let's talk about how to recognize and manage those patients. First of all, they don't always come like you think they might look. It was taught to us for many years that sweating versus not sweating was the difference between heat exhaustion and a heat stroke, but that's not actually true. The defining factor is going to be if they have altered mental status, and it might not be that hot outside because there are confounding factors that make some of our patients more susceptible to heat-related illness than others. For instance, if your patient is on an SSRI or an SNRI, those are common antidepressant medications, that reduces someone's heat tolerance and they're more susceptible to heat-related illness. Also, patients with any kind of drugs on board, particularly those that are uppers that are going to speed up their metabolic rate, like methamphetamine is a very common one I have seen uh, with patients with heat exhaustion. So the top priority on these patients is our supportive therapies, our ABCs, and to reduce their body temperature. Look at I'm getting hot just watching this delicious man candy while he plays pickleball. So we want to cool these patients off as quickly as possible. Get them out of the sun. Get their sweat covered clothes off of them. We want to get them into air conditioning if we can. Of course, if you've got your ambulance, you're going to put them inside there. You can put cool packs on their axilla, their groin. We can give them some chilled saline and ultimately cool these patients off, support their ABCs, and they're going to do great, right? Look, he ain't paying no attention.